Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to manage dependencies in your Xcode project using both Swift Package Manager and CocoaPods. I'm also going to show you how to set up CocoaPods for the first time. Let's begin. We are in a new Xcode project. You can see that if I try and import a dependency of my choice, for example, Kingfisher, an error is shown saying no such module. As such, let's bring Kingfisher into our project using CocoaPods. Firstly, navigate to Terminal. Next, if you haven't already installed CocoaPods, run the following command. sudo gem install CocoaPods. Once this installation is complete, you are ready to manage your dependencies using CocoaPods. Next, navigate to the directory in which your Xcode project is stored. Once you're here, let's hit ls to see what's already here. We have a folder, and we have our Xcode project. Next, let's run the following command, pod init. This initializes CocoaPods into your directory. If you hit ls now, you'll see that there is now a pod file. Now we can open this pod file using open pod file. This opens the pod file in text edit as it's a simple text file. Once we're here, you can notice a few interesting things. First of all, this commented line shows the global platform and minimum version of iOS to support for all dependencies. If you wish to actually incorporate this, you can uncomment this line. Here, you can see a target and an end for our project dependency demo. If you have more than one Xcode project inside of your directory, you can have multiple targets and ends in one pod file. In our case, we only have one Xcode project in the directory, so there's only one target. So between the do and the end, you are supposed to list out all the dependencies that you want. In our case, we simply want Kingfisher. So I'm going to write pod Kingfisher, like so. Now, this is sufficient in order to install Kingfisher as a dependency in its latest and most stable version. However, if you want a particular version, simply hit comma, and inside another set of these, specify the version that you want. For example, 4.0 or 3.0, it's up to you. Also, you can use operators, for example, the greater than sign to say that you are ready to have any version of the dependency that's greater than 3.0 or greater than or equal to 3.0 or less than 3.0. It's up to you. In our case, I simply want the latest and most stable version, so I'm just going to save and exit. Once we're back in terminal, run the following command, pod install. Now, as you can see, Kingfisher is installing and the installation was successful. Now we can return to Xcode and close our project. Next, navigate to the directory where we stored our Xcode project. In the directory, now we can see that there is a new file with .xe workspace at the end. Double click on this to open. Once we're here, we can now understand that this is the place in which our CocoaPods dependencies are available. So here, if I go to content view, and now import Kingfisher once more, you can see that there is in fact no error. Kingfisher is now available as a dependency. Now, let me show you how to use Swift Package Manager or SPM in order to install a dependency. Again, for the sake of continuity, let's try and import Kingfisher. This is a new, fresh Xcode project, and as you can see, there is an error shown once more that there is no such module, Kingfisher. So let's bring Kingfisher into our project using Swift Package Manager. Now, there are a few ways to do this. First of all, let me show you. If you click over here on this folder, and you simply right-click, there is a possible option over here to add package dependencies. But also, if you click on project over here, and you click on the project, 
and navigate to package dependencies, there is a plus sign over here. Pressing on either this or the option that I mentioned earlier will result to you navigating to the same screen, which is this screen right here. Now, if we want to bring in a dependency of our choice, what we have to do is first navigate to our browser and then find the URL of the public GitHub repository of the dependency. So here is the public repository of Kingfisher. I'm going to just copy the URL and return to our Xcode project, and I'm going to paste it in this over here. Now you can see that Swift Package Manager has identified Kingfisher using this URL as a package dependency. Now that we have identified this successfully, you can just press the Add Package button. And now you can see right down here in this package dependencies section, Swift Package Manager has added Kingfisher as a package dependency. If we go back to Content View now, and I decide to import Kingfisher, you will see that it yields no error once more. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.